And now that we've banned video games, let's move on to the next blight on our Oh yeah, what else do you want to ban? Do you enjoy life? Does she even enjoy living? Like, what the- what- what- what is her purpose? There is violence in books, that, that is true. Wow! Okay. We're banning books too. Fiction. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, Romeo and Juliet, that's classic right there. Yes! That's what I don't understand how people can't get that through their heads. Books can be as dangerous as video games. There's only one. She's gonna ban all of it. Become better parents and look after our children in a sensible way. Yeah, yeah, you should. No. Burn the books. Wow. I wonder what that reminds me of. I wonder what historical event about a hundred years that reminds me of. Anyways, <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. Um, this was good. Th I, I this episode kind of pissed me off, but not in the bad way, <laughs> just in the the meta way. Because this was a great episode, actually. This was a very very good episode, but it just irks me the whole video game debate. It's so stupid. It like it, it was annoying. It's annoying going back and watching like news reports and stuff like ten fifteen years ago, even twenty years ago at this point. I mean, God, it's tw it's twenty twenty four. That's crazy to me. Like, I'm 20 now. That's that's wild. Anyways, whatever. So, <laughs> um, but it's still a problem that exists today. I mean, I remember when the GTA 6 trailer came out like two months ago. And what do you know? All of the, A bunch of news sites jumped on about how terrible it is. It's like, oh my gosh, just get over it. Or how about, what, what was it? I think two weeks ago? Maybe a week ago even. Uh, six, I think he was 16. He... He may have even been younger than 16. A kid. It's a, a freaking minor. He beat Tetris. He played the original Tetris until the game code could not process the game anymore, and it broke, which means he technically beat Tetris. And some British lady did a news report on it, and she's like, this is nothing to be proud of. Go outside. There's, there's, you know, being proud of doing this. Like, you have nothing better to do. And it's like, oh, my gosh, just shut up. Just shut up. I don't care. Okay? Like... Karen, I... Okay, getting past all of that stuff, this episode was very good. I really liked it. And it brought a very good message I agree with at the end. Parent your freaking kid. If you think your kids are going to reenact violent video games in real life, how about you just make sure they don't? I don't know. It was just a crazy thought. I, I mean, frick, I, I grew up playing Halo and... Even, you know, later on GTA and stuff, like, I, I'm i fine. I don't know. I, I think I'm good. Like, you know, I'm, I'm doing YouTube. I, I go to college. Like, I haven't killed anyone. I, I think I have a, you know, I think I'm doing pretty well for myself right now. In that regard, uh, mentally anyways. Uh, but, yeah, this, this was a uh, very entertaining and, uh. Also, the music bits hit really hard, especially the uh, history rap that they were doing. I don't know. This was just a great episode. I I loved this so much. And it spoke a lot to me off the, uh, you know, what they were talking about throughout the episode. But besides that, the episode itself was also just very entertaining and chaotic, like it usually is. But there is nothing wrong with that. And I love it for that. Okay, anyways, uh, bye. Wreak havoc across the nation. Come on, just have a look. There's such violent inspiration. <laughs> the feral kid 
survive, but the one with glasses perishes. Spoilers. A mother gets her son served up in the pie. You did this to me, mother. <laughs> I bred Greek myths just like you, sir, when they get beheaded like Medusa. <laughs> a tale of torture and despair. Fight! You haven't read that one, have you? Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Fight! It's a sword, 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 cover to cover. Bow with the spine, root to your mother, but books other the Damn! So who should really get the blame? Are books as bad as video games? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Video games are shouldering the burden of a deeper problem. This is how parents teach their children to respond to it. Preach! You mean I have to parent? But it's so hard! There's only one reasonable thing to do. Become better. Ban books. Blame everything. No. Yep, yeah, it sounds about right. How did Richard, for the first time, have the correct answer ever? No, you know, they just ignore it. Sometimes, genius, sometimes okay? Richard has some some yeah, salient points. not dumb. He chooses to be that what? way. That means he's what? the smartest of the. Oh, they gotta check him out. Of course. So read books and see what they're really like. Honestly, I think books are more harmful than video games, in my opinion. <laughs> have you not read what's in them? Games. Let's move on to the next blight on our culture. What? The pop music. <laughs> Never. Everybody read a book. Hey. Wreak havoc across the nation. Come hey. on, just have a look. There's such violent inspiration. Exactly. Lord of the Flies is a book each parent. Best cherishes. book, I love it. The feral kids survive, but the one with glasses perishes. Mm -hmm. Kill him. If you want more blood and guts, give Shakespeare's play. Oh, Shakespeare. And Hamlet and the uh, Romeo and Juliet. Two of my favorite books. Dracula! Love that. Red Riding Hood is pretty bizarre. Mm. The wolf dresses up as a girl's grandma. Hey. I read Greek myths just like you, sir, when they get beheaded like Medusa. And I read oh. the goddess and the hair, a tale of torture and despair. Tor torture and the hair? Yeah, no, he didn't read that book. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's not how it goes. Yeah. Should be banned, but history you can't, are yeah. just as bad. Perhaps a rap will help you understand. Oh, yeah, Shoot, rap it. Hit it. Yeah, juke. It's a sword, hey. sword, sword. Cover to cover. Bow hey. to spine, run to your mother. But both hey. are the same. Every story to video, video games are just as gory. Romeo, hey. oh, Romeo. Oh, Romeo. Romeo is your homie. Yo. To be or not to be. That's to be or not to be. Princes, pictures by Mark Twain. All these books are Japanese names. So who should really get the blame? Yeah. 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 Harry Potter! <laughs> Our games. Oh, I forgot that game. Alice Wonderland, I think. <laughs> Jesus! What's going on? Stop. What exactly are you trying to say here? That books are also harmful? Mother, allow me to elucidate. We've raised myriad issues here today. Mm -hmm. Censorship, mm. parenting, yeah. making gross noises with one's armpit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the nub of the argument is thus. There's yeah. no material that's to blame. Yeah. How parents teach their children to respond to it. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. Books can be as dangerous as video games. Uh. Only one reasonable thing to do. What? <laughs> Become better parents and look after our children in a sensible way. Yeah. No. Burn literature. <laughs> really? <laughs> to be honest, in my opinion, I do think that books are more harmful because there are a lot of bad books. Some of them are fictional. Some of them are real life. In my opinion, I think books are worse. There are a lot of bad books out there. But honestly, at the end of the day, who cares? It's just I think video games are fine. Books are also kind of fine, too, to some extent. But I like how the gumball really tackled it in this episode because it does prove a point. You know, video games and books, they all they both can be harmful in a way, but I do think in my opinion that books are way more harmful because you know some of it is based on true events, some of it actually actually is fictional. The way it ended though, um, this actually does happen where people will, you know, burn books for no reason, or they'll burn it because they think it's bad for kids. I think they did it with um Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, and a bunch of other books, but uh, yeah, I really love this episode. It's pretty good. So let's hop next one. Here we go. Yeah. All right, let's see. And now that we've been reading a book, wreak havoc across the nation. Come on. The, you know what this sounds like? This sounds like, uh, don't hug me. I'm scared, bro. That's what it sounds like. Hey, don't, don't hug me. I'm scared type beat. 
Lord says perishes. Yeah! Oh my god. The egg, bro. Because a mother gets her son served up in the pie. You did this. Does she re ew, really? I've never read that. I've never read Lord of the Flies. Ugh. Yes? Ew. When they get beheaded like Medusa. And I read the tortoise. Oh my god, Gumball always is doing something to Alan. Read that one, have you? Fiction should be banned. Fiction? Oh my gosh. Well, this sounds just like don't hug me, I'm scared. Okay, bro. That's a question for G. <laughs> oh my god. That's true, because it's all like. The books literally can be as bad. It's just how you like. It's just about the person like who's reading it and if they get influenced by it. Because there's some crazy stuff in books from what like he was just saying. Like somebody getting baked into a pie. Like that's disgusting, bro. But that's wild. What are you trying to say here? Books are just as bad. Video games are shouldering the burden of a deeper problem. Which is material that's to blame. How parents teach their children to respond to it. I don't even like little dude, but like he's spitting because I literally just said that, y'all. And y'all be saying, oh, Scoop, you're not smart. Oh, Scoop, you're stupid. Y'all called me stupid the other day. Y'all called me stupid because I didn't know about the freaking moon phases. So, y'all, all right? Can be as dangerous as video games. There's only mm -mm -mm. one simple thing to do. Become better parents and look after our children in a sensible way. No, that's it. <laughs> Y'all, bro, that episode just goes to show that, like, I'm smart, and y'all are mean. All right, there we go. That's a good lesson. The amazing one of Gumball has arrived at McDonald's. Looks like Gumball's got a fresh new friend. Wow, he's got some sweet moves. Oh, look, Darwin has a new friend too. What a friendly, fruity bunch. Everyone wants some delicious fruit. You can get yours at McDonald's. Some fun, some food, it's all inside this Happy Meal. Are we breaking out a song? Wait, I just thought, I just remembered. Didn't you guys say this episode was banned? Here's a wiki, I think, about it. One guy said it. Nah, it was, it was two. It was like two people who said it. What the? Did they just outright just killed him? <laughs> you did this to me, mother. Oh. Fight. They're spoiling like crazy. <laughs> this is why it was banned. <laughs> Damn! They just got the. <laughs> just... Alright, bro. Oh, but they're heads. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. They're just gonna ban books. I just peep. Why the f is the pizza here? As far as I'm concerned, your baby's dead. It's a little too far. My fault. <laughs> We're just gonna ban books, too. Ah, yes. What? Oh, my God. I was. Well, and you ain't got video games, and you ain't got books. The W on only one of those. <laughs> Literally 1984. They banned stuff to protect kids. You know, those American history books going first. <laughs> it's funny episodes, man. Definitely some funny episodes. That's going to be it for this video. Damn, this was 40 minutes. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. More Gumball on Patreon down below. Catch you guys next week. <laughs>